Kareem Benzema is the man of the hour. KB9 has had an unbelievable season, winning both La Liga and Champions League. But apart from trophies, Kareem has managed to break almost every record he faced. And while he awaits for an almost certain Ballon d'Or, join us and discover all the records that Benzema broke during the 21-22 campaign. UCL and La Liga top scorer in the same season. Benzema won the Pichichi Trophy for the first time in his career. With 27 goals, his first contender was Iago Aspas, who scored 18 times. A wonderful mark, but far from the French, who was finally crowned as La Liga top scorer. Benzema's insane season also gave him his first Champions League top scorer title. KB9 scored 15 goals. Kareem won both the Pichichi and the UCL top scorer trophy and is only the sixth footballer to achieve this, alongside Lionel Messi, three times, Cristiano Ronaldo, two, Ferenc Puskas, two times, Raul, once, and Alfred Di Stefano, once. Some big names, right? Number two, personal best in La Liga and champions. Well, this one was pretty obvious, given the numbers we've seen this season, but we couldn't leave it out of the video. With 27 goals in the Spanish tournament, plus 15 celebrations in the UCL, Benzema has broken his personal records in both competitions. His previous best mark in La Liga was 24 goals, achieved in the 2015-16 season. But the next stat will amaze you for sure. Kareem had never scored more than seven goals in the same Champions League edition. Yes, you heard right. His 15 goals duplicate his best UCL mark. Three, most goals for a French player on a single UCL edition. Did you know that the legendary Juste Fontaine scored 10 goals during the 1958-59 European Cup? That was the last time a French player scored 10 goals in this tournament. Until now. The 15 goals that Benzema scored in the UCL not only destroyed Fontaine's record, but also put an end to 63 years without French players scoring double digits. And France had some great strikers. Thierry Henry, Eric Cantona, Kylian Mbappe, David Trezeguet, Nicolas Anelka, just to name a few. But no one could reach Fontaine's mark. Well, KB9 was determined to rewrite history. Number four, next stop, Cristiano. With 323 goals for Real Madrid, Benzema is now the club's second all-time top scorer. He reached Raul's mark, although the Spaniard played 741 games with the Blancos, 136 more than KB9. Kareem is still far from the record holder, you know who he is. Cristiano scored 451 goals and it only took him nine seasons. Benzema would need four more seasons scoring at least 35 goals to surpass CR7. Looks difficult, but impossible? Nothing is impossible for KB9. Number 5. Most goals for Real Madrid in one season Benzema's 44 goals this season surpassed the best seasons of Di Stefano and Hugo Sanchez, two absolute Madrid legends. They both scored 42 goals in their best season at La Casablanca. In fact, only two players scored more than 44 goals in a single season for the Merengues. Cristiano Ronaldo, who did it six times, and Ferenc Puskas, who scored 48 goals in the 59-60 season. The insane numbers Benzema achieved are even more surprising if we take into account that Kareem had only scored more than 30 goals during the 2011-2012 season when he scored 32. 6. The best of the rest Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have taken goal stats to another level, so we won't speak about their numbers in this part. Despite La Pulga and CR7, Kareem Benzema is now the Champions League's all-time top scorer. With 86 goals, he shares this privilege with Robert Lewandowski. Kareem has played 142 games so far, while the Polish played 106. Of those 86 goals, KB9 scored 12 for Olympique Lyonnais and 74 for Real Madrid. How much time will it take him to reach triple digits? Number 7. Second player with the most UCL trophies Benzema shares this record with several other players. Lots of them are still his teammates in Real Madrid. Kareem has won five Champions League trophies, all of them playing for the Merengues, and has reached the same mark as some big legends of the game, such as Cristiano, Di Stefano, or Paolo Maldini, to name a few. Benzema also became, in solitude, the most awarded French player in the tournament's history. Until this season, he shared that honor with Rafael Varon. KB9 is now one UCL title behind Paco Hento, the record holder with six trophies. As Kareem, Hento won all his Champions League titles playing for Real Madrid. And Benzema is now a serious contender to break that record as well. Number 8. Most Goals in UCL Knockout Phases 
Benzema's spectacular Champions League performance reached the highest scoring level. Karim scored three goals against Paris Saint-Germain in the round of 16, four goals versus Chelsea during the quarterfinals, and three more to Manchester City in the semifinals. With 10 goals in the knockout phases, KB9 is now the record holder. He reached the same mark as Cristiano Ronaldo in the 2016-17 season. Leave one record for the others, Cristiano. For example, the next one on our list. 9. Oldest player to score a hat-trick in UCL era Since the European Cup became the Champions League 30 years ago, several strikers scored hat-tricks. But no one was older than Karim Benzema when he did it versus Chelsea. The French icon was 34 years and 108 days old during the first leg of the quarterfinals. Stamford Bridge became Benzema's backyard. Within 46 minutes, Karim destroyed the current champions in London and achieved a record that no other player in the last 30 years could ever match. But at this point, we all know that age isn't an issue for Benzema. He's the real-life Benjamin Button. He keeps improving year after year. What this guy did this season was absolutely insane. Which brings us to our last item, which isn't a record yet. Number 10. First Frenchman to win the Ballon d'Or in the 21st century. Bueno, eh, no sé los criterios, pero es que Karim ya lleva, lleva haciendo unos temporadones increíbles para, como no, recibir el Balón de Oro. Yo creo que después de hoy, no sé cómo funciona el criterio, pero yo creo que ya, ya toca, ¿no? <laughs> ya toca, ya toca. We don't get it either, Marcelo. France football has a particular criteria to determine the Ballon d'Or winner, but no player seems to be able to put a fair fight with Benzema for the 21-22 season award. If this finally happens, Benzema will become the first French player to win the Ballon d'Or this century. Since Adon's award in 1999, the Ballon d'Or hasn't returned to France. Karim is close to joining Zizou, Platini, Pepin, and Copa as the French winners of the award. Keep in mind that from this year, the Ballon d'Or will choose the best player of the season and not of the calendar year. That's why we will know the winner before the World Cup. And that's why it's almost secured for Karim. Even old rival and seven-time Ballon d'Or winner Lionel Messi admitted that KB9 should receive the award. I think it's clear that it's a spectacular year, and it's been a great year with the Champions, being fundamental from the eighth to the eighth in all the parties, and I think there's no doubt. If only he'd said the same about Lewandowski back in 2020, right, Robert? Time seems to be beneficial for Benzema. At the age of 34, he's had his by far best season ever and broke almost every record available to him. Did we forget to name any records? Is he the best player in the world? Let us know in the comments. Benzema's success can be related to his resilience, natural talent and understanding of the game, or his bandage. Yes, you heard us right. Kareem simply can't play without his bandage. Oh My Goal dived into this incredible story. Click on the link to find out why KB9 wears a bandage on his hand. Believe us, you will be surprised. See you next time.